Let me head to the other Western Conference playoff game between the Warriors and the Kings. Um, I don't know if you saw it or not. You should have seen it. Golden State got their asses kicked. They lost 118 to 94 in a game where Klay Thompson, of all people, went 0 for 10 from the field. The season's over, and potentially the dynasty of Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson, who will be an unrestricted free agent this summer, by the way, could be over. Here's what head coach Steve Kerr had to say about Thompson's future with the team. Listen up. We need Clay back. I mean, he's, um, you know, his, uh, I know he had a tough night tonight, but what he represents for us, the spacing, um, you know, we're not a deep shooting team. We're a little top heavy and, um, you know, Clay's presence means so much to the, to the spacing on the floor, to the flow of the offense. And, um, he's still got good, good years left. And, um, and I know I speak for everybody in the organization. We want him back. Um, obviously there's business, uh, at hand and that has to be addressed with Clay's representatives and, you know, Mike and Joe and, but what Clay has meant to this franchise, as good as he still is, um, we desperately want him back. The shit's over, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, can we stop playing games? The Warriors, by getting bounced out in the playing game last night by the Sacramento Kings, in such thorough fashion, I might add, have now missed the playoffs three times in the last five years. Three times in the last five years. There's no way around it. What you want me to say? Do you know that the Warriors against the top six teams in the Western Conference this year, that would be Minnesota, or rather Oklahoma City, uh, Denver, Minnesota, the Clippers, the Dallas Mavericks, okay? And I forgot, I mean, I got brain lock right here. This is a six seed. But when you look at Minnesota and Phoenix, I'm sorry, Phoenix, So when you look at those six teams, do you know that the Golden State Warriors this year were a combined 4-19 against them? 4-19. With Steph Curry still playing at a superstar level. Something's missing. Now, Klay Thompson, let me pump the brakes on the vitriol being aimed in his direction. Is he the same as he used to be? No. Can he get off his shots against anybody with the level of ease he used to? No. That is true. Let me remind you that in the last 12 games of the regular season, Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors were 10-2. and two. In that 10-2 and two stretch, Klay Thompson averaged 21.8 points on 49% shooting from the field and 41% shooting from three-point range. On the season, he was one of the top four three-point shooters in the entire NBA, shooting at 39% from three. Do you have any idea how valuable Klay Thompson could be to a lot of teams? The Knicks, I would love it if the Knicks could get him. I would love it if he was with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Klay Thompson can ball. Klay Thompson is a sniper. Klay Thompson is somebody that could be on an NBA roster for at least the next two to three years. He's a four-time champion. He's certifiably a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's just not what he used to be. That's all. But he's still better than most. And I was sad to see him miss all of those shots last night, but in the same breath, it happens. The biggest culprit, and it breaks my heart to say this, is Draymond. Draymond Green got suspended and missed ultimately 20 games. Got suspended twice and missed 20 games this year. Do you know that since January 15th, since Draymond Green returned, The Golden State Warriors were 28 and 15, fifth best record in the NBA. Their offensive rating went from 12 to fifth. Their field goal percentage shooting went from 46% to 49%. Their three-point shooting went from 37 to 39%. Their defensive rating went from 24th in the NBA to seventh. So if he were available for those 20 games, the Golden State Warriors ain't in the play-in. They're one of the top six teams in the West, and they're in the playoffs. So Draymond Green, albeit unintentionally, ultimately cost the Golden State Warriors a postseason berth. There's no way around it. I love the guy. 
I'm always going to be supportive of Draymond. But damn, the truth is the truth. And that's the situation. I'm looking at Klay Thompson, and I'm like, he's making $43 million this year. If you are Joe Lakeup, you can't pay him that going forward. You can't do it. You don't want to lose him, but you can't do that. Because you're way over the luxury tax. You missed the playoffs three of the last five years. And you've got to give the fan base something to look forward to. If you can get rid of Andrew Wiggins, I would do it in a heartbeat. I'd give him away. I said it years past. Andrew Wiggins could play. The problem is he doesn't show up half the time. Mentally and emotionally, his mind just always somewhere else. I'd give him away for a bag of cookies if I could. Because he, he's just not reliable. I love Kaminga. I love Pajemski, who's on my all-rookie team. I love the, the potential for Moody. You got to get another big body, just like they had Bogut when they had championships, Andrew Bogut or Zsa Zsa Pajulia or somebody like that. You got to get a big body so Draymond ain't defending fives. But in the end, you got to do something. You just got to do something. 